Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about constructors in Java. And a constructor is basically a special method that we can put inside of a class, which will allow us to give that class information when we create it. So when I create an object of a specific class, I can just give it some information right up front and it'll automatically pop be populated with all of that information. So uh, let me show you guys what this is. So over here uh, in the last tutorial, I actually created a book class. And this book class had a few different attributes, things like title, author, pages, and language. So this is kind of like the overall template for a book in our program. And here in my app.java file in my main method, I created a couple books. So I created this first book and it was like a Harry Potter book. And I created this other book down here. It was the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. So I was able to create these two books and it totally worked, right? I was able to print out attributes of these books and it went really well. Here's the problem though. Look how many lines of code this is taking up. This is taking up just to create two of these books. It's taking up like 12 lines or you know 11 lines of code. That's a lot of code. And you know, imagine that I wanted to create a bunch of these different books, like four or five of them. This is gonna take up a lot of space on my text editor. Not to mention, it's gonna be extremely un inconvenient to have to go through and type out like book one dot title is equal to the title. Book two, book one dot author is equal to the author. Like that's super tedious to have to do that. And there's actually a way in Java where we can just skip having to do this and when we create this object up here, inside of these parentheses, we can just pass it all of this information. So we could pass it like the title, the author, the number of pages and the language. We could put all of those up here in these parentheses as parameters. And then the object would automatically be created with the title equal to the title that we passed in, the author equal to the author that we passed in and you know all the rest of the attributes set. And that's called a constructor. Um, you'll also hear people call it an initialize method or an init method, um, but usually in Java we'll refer to it as a constructor. So over here I'm gonna go to this book.java file and in here we can create a constructor. So a constructor is essentially gonna allow us to give our object some default information when we create it. And the way that we can create a constructor is just by coming down here and I'm just gonna say public, and I wanna type out the name of the class. So we're just gonna say public book, cause that's the name of the class. And I'm gonna give this an open and closed parentheses and an open and closed curly bracket. So basically what's happening is this is a constructor and whenever we create a new object, so whenever I create a new book object, that constructor method is gonna get called. So when I say book, and I say these open and close parentheses, essentially what I'm doing is I'm calling that constructor method. So over here, this constructor method is directly linked to this guy right here. And so I can actually pass this constructor method a bunch of different parameters. So I can pass it like a title, I could pass it an author and a number of pages. And then inside of this constructor method, I can take those values and assign them to the values in here. So I could set the title of the object equal to the title that got passed in. So let me show you guys how this is gonna work and it'll sort of be more clear to you. So in here, I just wanna say that this book is gonna take a bunch of values by default. So we're just gonna be the values up here. So we'll create a string title string author, an int for pages, and string for language. So here we're basically passing in these four param or we're, we're saying that this constructor method needs to have four parameters passed into it. So basically now when we wanna create a book, we have to give it a title, an author, the number of pages, and the language. Otherwise we're not gonna be able to create it. So. Actually, if we go back over here to this app.java file, you'll see that I'm getting two errors. And it's basically saying that we can't create the book this way because we're not giving it those four values that we needed to give it. So in order to create a book now, we need to give it a title, we need to give it an author, we need to give it the number of pages, and we need to give it a language. But we're actually not done in this 
constructor method. So what I need to do now is take the values that got passed into this constructor and I need to assign them to the values up here. In other words, I need to assign them to the attributes inside of our object. So I'm just gonna say this.title. And when I say this.title, it's referring to the title variable up here. Now remember, I had a variable over here called title that got passed into this constructor. And so when I use this.title, it refers to the title variable up here. And I can just set this equal to title. And this variable over here is referring to the variable that got passed in. So we can do this for all of these. So I can say this.author is equal to author. And again, this is referring to the author up here. And this guy is referring to the author that got passed in. So we can do the same thing for, what was it, pages and language. So this.pages is equal to pages and this dot language is equal to language. Okay, so essentially what's happening now is we're passing this constructor some initial information. We're taking that information and we're setting it equal to the attributes of our object. So let's do this now. We can create a new book. So now instead of specifying like book one dot title is equal to Harry Potter, book one dot author, we can just take these values and we can put them inside of this open and close parentheses. So I'll put in our title and then I'll make a comma and we can put in our author. So JK Rowling, we can put in the number of pages, which is 500. And then we can pass in the language, which was English. So now instead of having to type out all of this code to create our book object, I only have to type out this one line. And this is actually gonna be a valid book object. So I could do the same thing with the four hour work week book. So I can just copy the title. We'll paste it into here. We can do the same thing with the author and the same thing for the pages. So it was like 300 and this is English as well. Okay, so now we have our two objects created. And again, I can just get rid of all this stuff. We don't need it anymore. So we went from having like 11 or 12 lines of code to now we only have two lines of code. So you can see it saved us a lot of trouble. And it's also just a lot more organized. So I can, you know, create these books a lot easier. And you'll see down here, I can still access the attributes inside of these things. So when I refresh this uh, program, it's still spinning out like 300. I could access the title of book one and it's still gonna work. So this is still working. It's doing exactly what we had before, but it's just making it a lot simpler. And so that's kind of the beauty of constructors is you can allow the person creating the object to give it some default information. And that can be really awesome. And it can honestly save you a lot of space and save you a lot of time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.